good morning. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you come back tomorrow and the next day and the next day and all the days because that's what we're going to be doing. And we'd love for you to join us. I'm on my run. Enjoying a beautiful, not super hot morning, a little humid before it gets over to 93, 94 today. But right now I'm rocking a good 75 degrees. Put in the miles before my work day starts. Five hours later, my work day. Oh, there it is. I'll put in a photo right here. I'll say I'll put in a photo right here of this morning. This is literally what she did. I put it on, but she was more in shade this morning. I think she just wants to be outside. She was like bugging me that like, like she needed to go to the bathroom or something, but then I come out and this is what she does. But we got Uber Eats. We'll show that in a little bit. We have a gift card from my from my, my VP of our department as a thank you for the hard work we've been doing. So we got some lunch on our way. And uh, it's gonna be a good weekend. Do you smell something? All right, for anybody that watched yesterday's vlog, um, now it's May 22nd and we are four minutes away from this this makeup palette going live. Fingers crossed we get in and get it ordered. Okay, well now it says, thank you so much for your support. Our site is experiencing a crazy amount of traffic and sales right now. You are now in line. Please wait on this page for a few minutes while we prepare to get you to the checkout. Please do not refresh this page. You will lose your spot. Thank you for shopping with Jeffree Star. Love and lipstick. So I got the vlog uploading over here. We got the peanut gallery over here. Double peanut gallery because Evie wants some food. We had some toasted delivered. The angry fries again. This is my sweet heat burger. It's got a vegan patty that's house made. Barbecue sauce, sriracha, cheese, pineapple. Some normal french fries. And then this is Peter's. I have no idea. It's called a Bella burger. It's got lots of cheese on it though. It is official. I placed the order. We got it in and I paid for priority shipping. I don't know when it ships, but it'll be here within two business days of when they ship. Boo, yeah, city. I just downed that burger. I, so I got a double patty because I was overzealous and I think that would have been 10 times better if I just got one patty because instead of getting an impossible burger, they have their own house like scratch made, um, non-meat patty. And it was really good, but it a lot of times like those do come thicker, and it was just like a lot with the the cheese and the mushrooms and the rosemary with two of those patties. I went with the burger, and it was really good, perfectly spicy and sweet. I'm I'm always nervous about sriracha because I don't handle sriracha as well as Peter. I love the flavor, but just like a little bit. Um, but it was really really yummy. And their fries the are worth it. Fries, yeah. They're what, are they, what are the angry fries called? What are they, are they called? Angry, angry fries? fries, yeah. It's like sriracha, jalapenos, some sort of spicy powder, and the cheese. Um, I do really like their vegan cheese. Yeah. It doesn't taste. It has like. It doesn't taste like fake cheese. It just tastes like a creamy sauce. Yes. Um, so really good on Uber Eats. If it's in your area, I think. Hopefully, go check. <laughs> Sarah had to stop getting ready, and I turned off the afternoon's uh, news. news because sometimes you need some distraction in life. Just for a moment, we got a new Lady Gaga and Ariana Grande video. I haven't even heard the song. Have you? <laughs> you were gonna say Lady the Gaga. <laughs> <laughs> Lady the Gaga. I have not heard the new song yet. But did you guys know that Sarah and I went to see Lady Gaga, who I often call Lady Gugu? <laughs> In 2010. 2010. Ten years ago. Ten years ago. I'll put in some photos. Oh gosh. <laughs> Neither of us can talk right now. I'll put in some photos. Today's Taco Tuesday, so I'm wearing my taco. It's Friday. Just kidding. It's Friday. <laughs> Still wearing my, my taco sunglasses, but it's Friday. We're going to hit up um, City Walk for a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, we've been wanting to go back ever since we heard that the gate music was back on. I'm tall as you. No, she's just waiting. She's like debating and putting on these new shoes she got. Mm -hmm. um, but we're for my go. sister. For I, literally, our plan is to go lay in front of Islands of Adventure and then maybe in front of Universal. The but the <laughs> Islands Gate is more my is is more my favorite music. 
that's the plan. Mm -hmm. And then hopefully get home early enough to watch to Spider-Man. Spider yeah. I already ran today, mm -hmm. and I'm already done with work because it's 3 o'clock. We had early release. So we're taking advantage of the beginning of our long weekend. Yay. We are here, and it is hot. It's really, really hot, actually. Well, it felt worse when we were in our parking lot at our apartment yeah. than it does now. Yeah, but it's like 95. So I came into the store. Universal One, store. Air conditioning is <laughs> definitely nice. Um, but this feels normal, but it also feels nice because basically nobody's in here yet. Yeah, we were probably within the first 50 people of, of City Walk opening. Yeah, and there's only like five other families in here. So that's good. But this is like a little bit more peek into the parks. Mm -hmm. And these parks are opening June 5th, is that yeah. the date? Um, Holly Hornets so, is starting June 6th. <laughs> that is not true. <laughs> In my dreams. Um, but that was confirmed today that they do have approval to open on the 5th. All three theme parks. Yeah, which I, I want to go to Volcano Bay. We have yet to go. I want to go. Okay, being in Universal consistently reminds me of the holidays and HHN time. But this I've never seen before. And it really gets me in the fall feels. Pretty much, oh, it's a, Christmas. yeah. Pretty much is what's coming on the, everyone's pipeline next. Like things are gonna open up, but like I feel like it's not gonna be until that time where things feel somewhat regular. Right. I won't say normal because they're not gonna be normal ever again, but like regular. Mm -hmm. Um, what? You hear that? Nada. But you see that, and you see this gate. But there's no music. We literally came here to listen to the gate music because we saw online that it was playing again. Do you think it's like a, a thing that's gonna turn on later because it is so early? I don't know, like, I could see that if like the park would typically open later, but like the park would be open all day. Right. Let's go check out Universal. Okay. And then we'll chill somewhere in the shade. Okay and decide what we want to do. This is literally the only reason why we came. Yeah, this was literally and We didn't come for list. voodoo, we didn't come from, like the hot dog, Sarah just pointed out the hot dog place is open and they do a vegan Chicago dog. They do dog. like a morning star dog and then you could do If we were hungry, but like that's yeah. not why we came. We came literally to just sit in shade and listen to the music. We were bamboozled. We were bamboozled. And no music here either. Maybe it turns on at a certain time. All right. So we tweeted Universal to see if they'll respond. We'll probably ask a team member if we see one. But in the meantime, we're gonna go sit in front of islands because there's like shaded seats. Yeah. Rather than standing in front of Universal. Yeah. But we have water. Um, we're finding the shade, and it's looking like it's gonna be like really nice night out. So mm -hmm. it's, it's not a total bust. No, it's still nice to be out, and it's great to see the views, like the globe. Yeah. It's like all of this. Whoa. So, there's like dancers over there. Yeah. But um, we haven't been out in the sweatiness in a while. <laughs> yeah, it's hot. So, this is why we came back over to the islands because we're covered in shade here, but still no music, sadly. No tweet response yet. We didn't ask me those team members, but those were like, I don't know if they were like, we were just talking, we don't know like I think a leadership I at Universal to know if the people we just walked past that like managers were like right. Universal managers or were they twosomes? There's someone right there. Who are you? And we keep hearing thunder. I jinxed it. I literally said, it looks like it's gonna be a nice night, and then we turn off the camera, and there was thunder. So, our little trip to listen to some theme park area music in person may be squashed you never sooner. Know. I know, I know. But I'm gonna run to the washroom and okay. we're just gonna chill. And if you see anyone, ask. No music. But it's fun to hide from the rain again. Yeah, we haven't done that in a long time. Yeah. All 
All right, the rain has pretty much subsided. Just the drizzle now. Mm -hmm. But we're gonna wait like eight more minutes until six o'clock and see if this here music starts at six. And if it doesn't, then we're just gonna head out, head back home. Mm -hmm. And it's still it nice still, to get out. Yeah, a nice stroll. We, got, we actually went into the toothsome shop too. And so it was nice to just like see some familiar things, get some AC in there. Um, but yeah, we're gonna cook dinner at home and then just chill. Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Well, good news and bad news. What do you want first? <laughs> I always say bad news first. The bad news is we're leaving. It's 6.03, no music. Mm -hmm. Good news was one of the family just came up and said hi. Thank you so Ooh. much. We uh, just missed them yesterday at Boathouse. They ate at the Boathouse yesterday a couple hours before we did. Mm -hmm. So thank you for saying they hi. Get they get the vibes of just being out. But now it's time for us to go. It'll be, uh, the music will be on soon. Yeah. Especially considering it opens up in two weeks from today. Yeah, it's only smokes. We're on our way out, but we didn't show this before, but with their 30th anniversary merch. Those are cool. We never got to go on Jaws. They didn't. But it looks kind of scary. I really like this design, like the old-fashioned sign. Old Florida port. Wait a minute. Coffee mug. Um, Spider-Man Homecoming, where are you streaming that you're not part of Disney Plus? Now we're forced to either buy this, rent this, or skip it. And we can't skip it. We've been in this order of movies since the beginning. Where are you streaming? Hey, Sleepy Pop. Life's tough. I love this so much. May 22nd. Be not inhospitable to strangers, lest they be angels in disguise. Hello, friends. I feel like we haven't vlogged in a long time. We watched Spider-Man. Spider-Man was awesome. Yeah, it was Spider-Man Homecoming. It was, it was really I good. I thought I had seen it, but I wasn't sure. I didn't think I saw it then. Mm -hmm. And then within three minutes, I was like, I've never <laughs> seen this movie ever in my life. Yeah. But the reason like the night got so chaotic is because there's been some plans put in place. Some plans put in place. Um, Basically, we decided as a family that Disney, the June fifteenth trip. June 15th trip, is not going to be what we hoped it would be. It's not going to be a Disney trip. No, and we haven't heard from DVC yet, but that's the perk of us living here and of us us being the DVC members is that we'll be able to deal with DVC ourselves, and we will have to take a trip. So Sarah and I, at a some staycation. point before August, because we have to see if DVC is going to cancel or if they're not going to cancel on us, which determines how many points we have to use by August 30th. But we have some amount. We know it's either going to be X amount or Y amount by the end of August regardless. Yeah. Just because it's... Um, so we're we, doing We banked some points for this trip. We, we borrowed. Yeah. However it works that way. Um, and so, yeah, that will change. However... In the short term, some of our family will be able to make it down here. But, uh, but not at June 15th. Not June 15th, but this week. But Monday. It's wild. <laughs> and so things are still getting situated. Everybody who will be coming has been just at home, and we feel comfortable that we all don't feel sick. We all feel settled. We all feel responsible. Yeah. Um, and they're going to make their way down here, and... Um, that's the plan. So we like we went in. We wanted to book an Airbnb. I think it's not confirmed yet. I think it's still mm -hmm. pending. Yeah, yeah. We're just kind of going with the flow. Going with the flow. But planning a trip Monday. in a very um, short amount of time. And um, they're all driving. They're not flying. Yeah, and just getting situated. And it's not what we expected it to be, but it's something. And I think we all kind of. And Peter's still gonna work. I'm still gonna work. We're all kind of just. Figuring we'll things still be out, there. Um, but we'll have a pool. But we'll have a pool. We'll have some family time, which is really cool because we haven't seen anybody since Christmas, since we've been expecting. And we're supposed to go back for a baby shower, but like I will say, that's like ninety-eight percent gonna happen. But yeah. like we don't like if there's a second wave of virus, or if we don't feel comfortable going traveling back to have a big family party, especially with me being the one who's. I don't want to like call myself at risk but they just say when you're pregnant 
we you are yeah like you want to we want to carry me a little bit more safely yeah. um and like so we're, we're supposed to go back to chicago both of us before the babies do mm-hmm. but that's not i won't say it's 100 percent. right so it's really amazing that um that anything's happening that anything is happening so it'll be fun um it won't be the disney vacation we thought but at least it's something but we'll get a family trip and then we'll have our yeah little like baby moon staycation whatever you call it yeah be good. Alrighty, so we're finishing up some of Peter's work while he's finishing it, and then we're yeah. gonna go to bed. So it's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.